Hi, I'm uh, Matt Royer. I work for the Chesapeake Bay Foundation and I also am the volunteer president of the Tri-County Conewaga Creek Association. We're a volunteer watershed group for the Conewaga Creek, which is in parts of Lancaster, Lebanon, and Dauphin counties. And we're out here today at a riparian buffer planning that we helped uh, facilitate uh, about a year and a half ago. Uh, and this planning is on a, an active farm that it, uh, provides a pasture for cattle. And uh, historically, before the buffer was in, the cattle had access to the stream. Uh, we're getting in, uh, tromping down the stream banks, creating erosion problems. Um, and uh, so we talked to the landowner about uh, putting up a fence uh, to keep the cows out and planting trees in the, in the buffer area along the stream. Uh, we also installed uh, uh, some uh, water access points so the cows could still uh, uh, get their water to drink but predominantly stay out of the stay off the stream banks and away out of the creek. Um, and this is a great conservation practice for uh, reducing nutrient and sediment pollution to the to the local streams. Uh, it slows down the runoff coming off the fields, keeps the cows out of the streams. Uh, and the trees, as they start to grow, will start to shade in the stream, providing cooler water temperatures, which are better for fish, help to stabilize the stream banks. Uh, the, the stream itself, uh, because of the forest buffer system, will, will actually process nutrients and other pollution faster than you would get if the, if the stream were not buffered. Our watershed group, uh, the Chesapeake Bay Foundation, both are partners in the Conewaga Creek Watershed Initiative, which is a, a new partnership that's been established over the last year, where we're working with uh, local, county, state uh, organization and entities that are interested in uh, uh, conservation work on a watershed basis. Uh, they include the conservation districts in the three counties that we're in, uh, includes the U.S. Department of Agriculture's NRCS, Natural Resource Conservation Service, the state DEP, uh, Elizabethtown College that's providing support in developing a monitoring program, and other partners. Uh, the, the effort's being head up by uh, uh, Penn State University, who received a grant to uh, facilitate this partnership. Uh, and what, what makes it different uh, in terms of what we're trying to accomplish is it's bringing all of these... Um, agencies and organizations that are doing all great work on their own trying to implement conservation practices helping landowners implement implement conservation practices on their lands uh, doing it in kind of a targeted watershed manner uh, through the watershed groups involvement the conservation districts involvement we're, we're also looking to bring uh, the local landowners and watershed residents into this program so that they can really benefit from um, the the expertise and, and technical service that can be provided by the by the agencies that do this work on a on a day to day. We're very early on in forming the partnership and trying to move it forward. But our goal is that this could be something that we could replicate in other watersheds. Um, the bottom line is with what we're faced with with the bay cleanup and very daunting goals and objectives. It all has to happen at the local level. This is really an issue. It has to do with um, you know, how we live our lives and how we use the land uh, and how that affects water quality.